M0 FXB. So we have here the RTL, SDR, HF, VHF, UHF, SDR receiver with the waterfall scope. It's excellent value. So I thought I'd uh, give it a go, check it out, and, uh, and let me know what you think of this device. Please enjoy the rest of the video. So have a look how cool this looks. And wouldn't you like this for under £40 on your laptop or PC? And the functionality is excellent. It's all modes, all bands, uh, waterfall scope. I mean, there's so much you can do with this, and it's literally under £40. You can buy them in a kit form and get the an antennas included, but really, if you're a ham operator, it's the best way is just to connect it to your existing antennas. But yeah, if, you're, if, you're, if you haven't got many, then yeah, you pay an extra, I don't know, £20, and you get these uh, extra antennas included. Let's have a look at the buying options for this equipment. So we'll look at the shopping side of things. I mean, there's a little video here I've been looking at of Tom Delante, is it? Uh, I've been looking at that as well. But anyway, shopping-wise, it's eBay, about 36 37 for just the dongle. Here's another link here with some info. Have a look at that. And then Amazon, look, 36 That's the one that I bought. And there is another one where you can sort of get the whole kit. Quite pricey, I thought. I'm sure you, if you shop around, you'll get it even cheaper. But the main thing is... Get the one that's rtlsdr.com, a genuine one, um, from a trusted seller, and then uh, you'll have a better device. That's, so that's the sort of purchasing side of it. Okay, now down to the sort of free software. So look, you've got Air Spy here. Go to download, and at the top, we've got this software defined radio package. So click download, download that zip. Okay, now when you extract it any way you like, I just go like this, show in folder, and I just extract it somewhere. Double click it, and I extract it to a folder. So literally just click extract to it, create a folder any way you like. Now I've already done this, I'm not going to do it twice. Um, SDR I call it, yeah? So we'll click out. And then once you're in it, then the, the, the most important one to find once it's been extracted is this one here. It says install RT. You really need to do that. So double click that first. And it comes up with this black window. And then it says pr press any key to continue. Okay, now when that's run, and you look in your folder again. Let me just click out all this. Go to the folder. And what you're going to see in the folder, and I've got a few extra things there, but you're going to see this Zadig, Z-A-D-I-G. Now that's going to, we're going to be doing this later when we um, when we decide to get the right driver. But our, my SDR dongle hasn't come yet, so I will show you this section in a minute. But, but you can, you know, just close this off. For now, even without that, you can run it. So what you do is right-click SDR sharp here and click um, run as, as administrator click yes now it's going to ask you to download this net sort of five thing so just i mean i've already run it but when it asks you to do it run the one that says 86 so it's the one in the middle for windows 86 and then you'll get this window now we can't go any further with this until my dongle arrives so that's how far we've got so far uh, moving on to the next part all the best Okay, so our dongle is connected to our laptop. We double click our SDR file. We go down to Zadig. Double click Zadig. And this little window come, opens up. Now, at the top, click Options, click, and then List All Devices. Then, at the top line here, down click and click. We're going to do this on both. So, Bulk Interface, do that, and then click Install Driver. I know it says Reinstall, but just click here and give it a couple of minutes until it says Completed. Then do it again on the next one down, interface one, completed. Right, nice, nice one. So anyway, once that's done, go to your SD Sharp shortcut. Now, I wonder if we can add it, create a shortcut anywhere. Pin to start, there you go. But anyway, right click it and run, run administrator. And then click yes, and the whole thing will boot up. Make sure you've got an antenna connected to your rtlsdr.com I have a two meter antenna and this video is just about two meters at the moment uh, we'll have a look at HF later so right to hear something push play 
Okay, and suddenly it comes to life. Now you can change what this looks like with these sliders here. Experiment, do how you like. You've got settings up here. Look, RF gain, this one, up and down, it changes things. And there's lots more. I'm just giving you a brief. The volume is here. So we're going to try and put in my local node, which is 4. Let's get it 4. 4, then 3. 4, then it's 5, 5, 0. Oh. There you go. That's my local node. And then we'll do it on NFM. So when that comes to life, we should hear it. Um, there's something here. I've got a feeling this is my... Yeah, that's my open spot three. Now, there, there probably is a way of, of listening to digital. But um, I don't know. I haven't even got that far yet. Well, at the moment, we're just looking at VHF and UHF. And if I key my mic on my um, node... See that you see some life come here, and I think if you do the zoom about here, it looks better. Go to the about halfway. And when when the signal comes in, look, it looks more like what you'd expect to see on something like a ICOM 705. So um, let's just I, what I do I'll give an I'll ask for an audio check. What I want to just check. Let me just pause a minute. No, I just wanted to see if I can.